Hey everyone, and welcome to Harmony 17's new features for the brand new deformers and master controllers, as well as some other cool tricks that we're going to show you today. So if I go and jump on this sweater pattern here, you're going to see that I can now add a new um, freeform deformer just by adding a few clicks. So if I go to the rigging tool, and open up my tool properties, you're going to see a new button right here. And if I click this, I'm going to pin down the four corners of my texture and I'm going to add one right in the middle. Now if I jump to my transform tool, you can see here that my deformer looks just like the other ones. And if I activate this deformer or this cutter, I can now move these stripes around I can pinch, and I can also rotate. Editing these deformers are going to be really easy. You can just simply click and delete, or simply add a few more. You already know the grid wizard and the slider wizard from our um, previous version of Harmony, Harmony 16, but now in 17, what we've done is we've combined them. So if I go and grab her head group. If I click on this icon right here, the new stack wizard, I can actually get um, a version of our master controller where we've combined the two. So I already have her preloaded here, which I'm going to bring up. And you'll see that the uh, We've already labeled each one of these points, and we also have all of the frames and key poses assigned to this master controller. The best part is that when I go over here, I can actually flick through a third, or a second and a third set of master controller poses, and that's going to create the stack. So if I close this window and quickly show you, here I have my original head rotation, but now what we're going to be adding is the same head rotation with different mouse poses. What we'll be able to do is combine the two so that when you have your flexibility of your grid master controller, you'll also be able to flip through all of your mouse shapes. So let me create this one for you really quickly. I'll load what we already have pre-made and I'll flick to the last window and add my final poses which are going to be frame 113, 14, and 15. We can actually relabel these right here. And I can give this a name. And remember, you're still going to need to know which composite to add it to. And now, if I move to my blank frame, I can use the head rotation and also the slider to adjust the mouth shapes. If I'm happy with this, I can then go ahead and save it as a grid stack. And close my window so I can go back to it later. In Harmony 16, we introduced to you the grid wizard and the slider wizard. So in Harmony 17, what we've done is we've actually combined the two to give you a little bit more um, control over your details when you start to really get into your animations. So with the grid wizard, you're used to the head rotations. And with the sliders, we've got some really great details for things like blinks and mouse comps. So if I go and find my stack wizard, I now have access to the usual format of the grid wizard, but now 
I also have the ability to change the mouse position for any of those rotation, rotational angles. Whether you use a master controller scene file or a blank scene and bring in your master controller template rig, which I've done here, you can see here that I only have the two frames now, but I still have access to my master controller. We now offer the option to unroll all the poses that the master controller stores And you can see now that all of the poses show up in my timeline. And from here, what we can do, which is really exciting, make any type of animation adjustment that you wish to, your, any, to any one of these poses. And if we find our master controller, to update them, all we have to do is create a new master controller and hit Create. The new RGB difference keyer um, is our new node that is really easy to use. And this one's already set up, but if I plug this in and use it as a cutter for the background, when I switch to my render view and pop this in, you can see really quickly that it's already keyed out the green. Now, if your background was a different color, you can actually really easily just color pick right here and really quickly, you can invert the mat as well. With Harmony 17's new motion blur node, you'll be able to quickly add the illusion of movement to your animation just by simply inserting it into any uh, stream. So since I already have one set up here, I'm gonna hook it up to um, our little run cycle. You'll have to be in the render view to see this effect, but you can also hook it up to the background if you just jump into the layer properties and click on use camera motion. To see the final effect, I can just click play right here. With Harmony 17, we hope these new features will bring more life to your animations.